Yeah, it was. Yeah, in 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 in, in many ways. Uh, first of all, the, the studio itself, Hansa Studio, with all the fantastic artists and bands who've been recorded there, and also the vibe of actually being here in Berlin in November, and uh, Potsdamer Platz, and um, where the wall used to stand. Uh, f- for me, it was a vibe in itself. So it was just perfect to record. No, it's, it's yeah, the opposite. We have a or yeah, we have a bag of riffs, as we usually say, or uh, bits and pieces of songs, and uh, we try to put them together as whole songs. Uh, and this time, a few songs were ready when we entered the studio, and some songs were written uh, during the stay. Actually, while I, I was recording, a few songs were finished. Uh, so it was kind of stressful this time and not very structured, but I think we work We do our best when when we don't have structures uh, We need to improvise sometimes uh, Somehow mm-hmm. We work good under pressure I think we we don't see it that way because we're in it all the time we evolve along the way you know we three years ago we put on another, another great record and now we uh, evolve and we take that evolution into the process of making a new cd so for us it's very natural we create music uh, that uh, shows how we feel at the moment and uh, i guess for fans who listen to it sometimes it can appear as as a big change or something like that but for us it's just evolution natural progress There are so many. Th- I mean, we achieved so much. Uh, we played with bands that I wouldn't dreamed of playing with when I was younger, and uh, we've been so fortunate and, so, and we're so grateful that we come to this level. And it's hard to pinpoint certain stuff, but uh, I don't know. Yeah, it is. I mean, we've done a lot of stuff uh, throughout the years, and um, it's it's like you, Daniel said that there's enough. There's not one thing. There's so many things that really inspires. And yeah, I remember when we when we toured with uh, Slayer first time, how cool they were to us. Uh, how they really showed how you should treat an opening act, kind of. You know, they took us under their wing, and they what was theirs was also ours. You know, and and, and that was a really magical experience. You know, it was really inspiring to see after all these years that they're actually nice guys who just take takes care of you and that's the way to do it there's so many stuff i mean uh, sometimes I, I get this question uh, which, which which gigs do you prefer a festival gig or a club gig it doesn't matter because it's it depends on the interaction between the band and the audience who's there so so uh, it could be a wonderful experience to play in a club gig for 400 people and on the other day, do Wacken. It's like, it's it's what you make of it. Which, uh, for for this kind of music, uh, it's a must. I mean, the the band and the audience work together, and then it turns out to be something fantastic. You build it together. Yeah, it is. I mean, this is what keeps us do what we do and we love music and for me this is the only thing i've been doing professionally in my grown up life i never had a like a normal job so this is this is my life except except my family that is but music is basically everything for me so yeah i would definitely say that it's a drug Yeah, uh, I listened to the latest uh, Mastodon CD a lot. came out uh, about a month ago and I bought it and uh, that goes really warm. Uh, and 
Yeah. Then I also go back to a lot of oldies. Like I like I like Simon and Garfunkel and stuff like that. That's absolutely not metal. Uh, and I think we we all listen to a lot of different types of music. It doesn't have to be metal. So. Yeah, I listen to all kinds. Even though I came into this style by listening to extreme death metal. So that's my house gods are like Decide and Morbid Angel. Even though I maybe not listen to them every day nowadays. Um, but right now, as Peter said, I also listen to the new Mastodon, which is a masterpiece. Um, Jack White, Lazaretto album. <laughs> I like it. Uh, I like the guitar tone and the way he plays guitars. Um, and I also tend to go back in time and listen to <laughs> Judas Priest, King Diamond, Merciful Fate, stuff like that. But it could be anything. Thank you. 